So here we have how to maintain your circulatory system healthy, and this means how to keep your circulatory system healthy. Number one, we have this point. Uh, we have like seven points here. And the first point we have is to keep exercising. So it might come in to give reason why do we should keep exercising. So you will answer like this. You will say that it's to strengthen the heart muscle. And number two, it's to activate your blood circulation. So why do we should keep exercising? To strengthen the heart muscle and to activate the blood circulation, to keep your blood circulation active, okay? Then we have point number number two, which is so important for us to do actually, which is you should keep eating healthy food and balanced food, which is low in fat and salt. So what is the balanced food that we should eat? It's the food low in dots and dots. What are they? Fat and salt. That's great. Thank you so much. Then jumping to point number three, which uh, more likely it's like number two a little bit, but it's, uh, you know, it's about the vegetables and fruits. You should keep eating vegetables and fruits and make sure they are fresh and clean. Number three, you should drink suitable amount of water every day. Especially in the summer. Why especially in the summer? Because you lose a lot of water in the sweating, right? When you when when you have like sweating, you're running, you're doing exercising, you will be losing some water. So you should uh, compensate this. I mean, to take very good amount of water so you can keep on your day. Number five, it's to avoid exposure to infections and accidents. Like what? Like when you, for example, get injured, right? If you're bleeding, if you do have some uh, uh, blood exposed to air, you should make sure it's clean to keep away from the infections, from the disease. And number two, to avoid the accidents, okay? Try to keep yourself safe. Number six, when you're wounded, you should do two things, okay? You should do two things when you are wounded, when you're injured, when you have uh, like a wound in your hand or your, in your leg or whatever, in your body. Body, I mean. So you should do two things. Number one, to try to stop the bleeding. And this might come in the... Uh, complete questions. Uh, when you are wounded, you should stop dots. Yes, you should stop bleeding. And number B, clean the wound and, and treat it. You should clean the wound, make sure you have the wound clean, do not touch like dust or uh, something that has uh, not a clean surface, for example. You should keep away from this. Why? To keep your wound very clean and treat it to heal very fast. Okay? That's great. Number seven, which is so important as well, it's to avoid smoking and smokers, to keep away from smoking and smokers. Why? Remember when I told you that we should keep exercising and this is to strengthen our heart muscle and to activate the blood circulation? Yes, that's correct. The smoking does absolutely the different or the opposite thing from the exercising, which is that it will weaken your blood circulation and it will harm your heart. So it's the opposite. Remember, the exercising kept your heart strong and it activated your blood circulation. Here, for the smoking, it does two opposite things, which is harms your heart and weakens your blood circulation. That's why we need to keep 
away from smoking and from smokers as well. And let me tell you something. Uh, this might also come in the give reason. This question might also come in the give reason uh, in, the, in, in this form. Why do we should keep away, or avoid uh, smoking and smokers? So we will answer like this because smoking, harm, smoking harms the heart and weakens the blood circulation. I hope you all understood this lesson. Uh, thank you so much.